Hello and welcome back to Ramblecraft. We are starting in the basement of our silo thingamabob. Yes, I have not yet been transferring the items that I was supposed to. And I think in today's episode we need to do that. We need to add a floor here. We need to do something about these two walls. Something about that the thing up there. I lost a word. Now I, have no, I don't have an idea. I have a slight idea of what I want to do. But I have no idea how it's actually going to turn out. So that will be a time lapse. I'll show you what I've done when I'm done with it. Um, but before we go ahead and do that. I think that we need to go ahead and go to the shopping district. And see if our shop has made any sales. Because I actually want to do some work over there in this episode as well. Why do I have so much junk in my inventory? What have I done? I love how this tunnel turned out by the way. I love it. <laughs> All right, here we are back at the shopping district. I still have my plot here, which is what I want to actually do with this episode as well. Um, but I just want to see if we've made any sales. I'm not expecting much, but um, yeah, nope, nope, nope. Yeah, that was a, that. As I said, I expected that. I want to add more things to sell as well. I don't know what yet. Maybe we'll add something in uh, later this episode. But I do want to build something here. I just don't know what yet either. <laughs> um, and I have also, I seem to have lost my shulker boxes. So I need to go on a little bit of a hunt here. Because I had shulker boxes with stuff. I will be doing a little bit of a hunt for my shulker boxes. And I'll be back once I find them. Uh -huh. This is what happens when you don't have an organized inventory. Ah, here they are. <laughs> These are the ones I was looking for. Yep. Here they are. All right, I need to find all the concrete that I had in these, which is basically none. Okay, time to make some concrete. At this point in time, I really wish my Concrete Explorer 3000 would actually work, but it's actually broken, so I need to do this by hand, which is not the most enjoyable experience in the world, but here I go. Is this my silk touch? Yep, okay, here I go. They can really travel far. <laughs> I should probably either fix that or make a new contraption, but I can't be bothered. All right, I think I have mostly what I need, but first I need to visit British Widow's shop here because I need, yep, more of this stuff. <laughs> uh, yep, this, yep, perfect, yep. Moss is definitely not my favorite block at the moment. Uh, totally not. Don't know what you're talking about whatsoever. Now I realize I have not shared at all what on earth I am making here. But um, you'll just have to see because I'm not quite sure that I know myself. So I'm going to build this and uh, you're going to enjoy the time lapse. And then we're going to figure it out on the other side. See you then. <laughs> And the time lapse is complete. I am actually quite happy with this build. I'm not gonna lie, it is pretty much the same design as the big shop over here, but it is it's it's just smaller. Now, what am I actually going to do in here? That is a good question. Well, multiple people have been asking for shulker boxes, so I have a bunch left over. So I'm like, why not sell them? I don't think I'm gonna put anything in them. I'm just gonna sell them as they are. So I'm just gonna. I think stack them up here. Maybe a few over here. I, I want it to be a stack though. I want it to be a nice, cool looking shulker stack. Uh, maybe something like this and then go here and maybe add one there as well and here and then there. Yes, perfect. And then just a sign right here saying, I don't know, three diamonds, four diamonds for a shulker box. I don't know. I don't know how much a shulker box is worth. Uh, you know what? Four diamonds. Four diamonds equals one shulker box. Boom. Perfect. I could potentially sell something else over here. 
I might have an idea, but I don't think... I don't know if I'm actually going to do it. Uh, potentially need to fix this as well. But, I, um, I did a stream uh, in between clips. And I, I may have said, I, I may have done something. A lot, actually. And you know what? I, I can't exactly go down to where I've done it because, as I said, I've done a bunch. So why don't I just show you what I have done? Enjoy the time lapse of more or less remodeling the basement. Let's go. And here we are. Yeah, yeah, a lot has happened. Uh, we installed on stream a brand new floor, which I absolutely love. I don't have any crystal sounds, but I do have lights buried under here, which is cool. Then we have the carpets for extra texture and depth. Um, the item frames are missing some items. Shame, shame. I wonder who that may be. <laughs> but yes, I have also done a bunch of item sorting. We have pretty much also on the stream moved all of the big blocks like bricks, diorite, andesite, granite, stone, more sp square stone, uh, smooth stone and uh, pebble stones. Um, yeah, and moved it into our brand new story system. I, at the beginning of this, was thinking of doing full blocks then stairs and then slabs I'm pretty sure was my intention but I kind of changed my mind because I'm not let's face it I'm not going to have that many slabs and stairs and if I do there's something called dropping items in lava so what I did instead also because I accidentally made an accident over here where it's actually one further over which fit this design actually perfectly I think it makes it look even better um, so down here we have the full blocks as you can see and then when we get over here we have slabs and Oh no, yeah, we have some stairs here. So these these two uh, layers basically work together, but this up here is like separate. So as you can see, we have like dirt, then we have all of my concrete over here, and then a bunch of other blocks that I may have abundance of, like moss, for example. I'm pretty sure I have more moss. Or did I use it all here? Yeah, I um. Let me show you something else I did because uh, you see I needed moss for all this, and I'm pretty sure I have more moss laying around here somewhere. But um, I didn't. I did. I didn't get the moss myself. No, and I didn't exactly buy it from a shop. Um, but I didn't steal it. Kinda. Um. Here, here's the remainder. Yeah. Uh, let me show you what I did. I don't know if British Widow has um, has removed it yet, but I left him a little bit of a gift in return of taking some Mars that he technically haven't put for sale, but it was at his Mars farm, so I guess it was fine. There we go. I'll be counting everything. Don't you worry. Um, he can just run it anyway. I mean, he'll profit in the end, so... I just want to see his reaction when he logs back on and sees what has happened to all his moths. <laughs> uh, 
There we go. I wonder if he's watching this. If he is, if British Widow, if you're watching this, don't worry, I will compensate you. Don't worry. Does it look like it gets a whole lot of carpet? I don't think I'll need a whole lot of carpet though. For that, I think. Take one of this. Right, so let's count it up here. 27 plus 27 plus, because this is 9, 18, 27, yep, 27, and then 8 and 8, that is 16, and then plus 3, that is 73 diamonds, and then if we divide that by 9, that is 8, so 8 diamond blocks, 8.1, so I'm just going to give him 9 diamond blocks, and that should cover everything. Uh, I guess I should make a sign. I'm just gonna make a diamond pile right here. Like that. And give me a sign. Hopefully he won't miss this tree. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's done. It has been done. Okay, yeah, he has taken it. But basically, right over here... If you take a look here, like, see, he has plenty, he has plenty. I basically left him 10 diamond blocks because I also were to get some bone meal from him, which I also took, um, so I left him 10 diamond blocks. So uh, British Widow, you're welcome. Now another thing that I also did in the basement was adding this, I don't know what it's called, a rim? I don't know, but this thing up here. Now I still need to do something about these walls. I don't know yet. Put your suggestions out below in the comments. That would be really helpful. Um, I'll try to I'll try to think of something. I also need to think of something on the roof up there, um, and also in here because that's just hideous. Uh, but yeah, so far this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna take that. And yeah, that uh, that sorting the items over there also resulted in sorting the inventory in here in the house. Basically everything has moved to this wall and these are pretty much all empty, which I guess I should actually take them down to make some room. Only issue is, you gotta be a little bit careful. Uh, do I have glass here? I should have glass. Of course, I think I got rid of my glass. That's now a huge um, danger. Uh, I need glass. Yep, here it is. Just need four pieces. There we go. Yoink. Yoink. Oh. 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 Well. I need to revamp this place anyway, okay? Now we're gonna take a little bit of a break from the basement because my presence has been requested by the British Weirdo. I have discovered something very strange about flying in this hallway. Okay? Fly. Okay. Hit your head on the roof and go into F5 mode. And uh, trust me, it will be... It, you, you'll love it. What? Huh? Do you get it? Okay, then. I, I lose half my body. Okay, yep, that's... Yeah. yeah, and then all you can see is your feet. You can look... <laughs> that's not worrying at all. <laughs> okay, that great. Then. You can look yep. at your feet. Yeah, it's, it's great. I can, I can see if I've stepped in something. Great. Exactly. Exactly. That's... You can look at your feet, which, you know, it's not something you can normally do in Minecraft. Yeah, that's true, actually. You that look is... down, you can't actually see your feet unless you go into F5 mode. Yeah, that's true. I, I thought I thought that was interesting. Right, where's this mess up biome? It is a good question. Right, so you've dragged me out here in, in into nowhere. Uh, oh. I want you to blow me up. We're ending season one of Ramblecraft soon. And I want to go out with style. Kaboom! Yeah. Okay, you just stand there for a second and don't and don't move. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear that coming. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are we actually going to do of a shape? This is nice flat. Um, I don't know. We could we could build a house. Let's like, build a just, house. Yeah. Let's build, just a, build house. a house. Don't touch that lever. <laughs> um, wait, I think we did something wrong. It clearly didn't ignite, so... <laughs> no, I'm trying to break the line. <laughs> <laughs> wait, why didn't that work? I forgot that you need a repeater. Wait, do I need it? The, the, need... the signal's not going to... Yeah, the signal's not going to... That's, that's, long, that's oh. more than 15 blocks. Oh, right, okay. Nope, nope. 
Nope, <laughs> nope, nope, nope. <laughs> no, I failed. Yep, yep, you I failed. I tried. You failed. Uh, Are we gonna do this? No. Yep. You need to be in the house. <laughs> <laughs> do I, though? Yes. Damn it! No! <laughs> <laughs> Get in there, boy. <laughs> Okay, are we ready to do this? Ha wait, hang yes. on. You have to hold my. Um, can you hold my chicken for me? Thanks. Sure. Yep. Yep. All right. It is connected. I'm in my home. I'm gonna stare at you through the window. I am ready to go out with a bang. Quite literally. All right. All right. Counting down. Three. Uh, two. I one. Didn't know there was an uh in the middle of two. Uh. Zero. Um. Bye. <laughs> what? Eh? Oh! 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 Dear me! Wow. Okay. <laughs> um. British Widow will see you in season two. <laughs> Now, I want to move on to something a little bit different that isn't basement work. Uh, it's not really anything to do with this space, it has something to do with that. Um, I basically have my own private stronghold. Uh, <laughs> which is really cool, but it is very inconvenient to go down into. Ever since episode 1, well, when I discovered this and started using it, I have been going through it this way. This tiny hole right here. Oh, I fell out. Go, go away. I've been going through this hole, right? Down this staircase, down here, and then in here. And then I go to the end. I would love to have... Ow, that must hurt. I would love a much better way of getting back and forth from the end. Other than having to navigate through that weird one tiny block of water. And I think I have an excellent idea on how I'm actually going to do this, which requires me to go to the end. Wait, what do I have on me? Oh dear. Uh, where's an ender chest? This little project is going to require me to not really, uh, ow, to not really be here, but to go further out. But I'm thinking that I could probably just toss an interpo in there and do it the fast way instead of flying. This guy might actually help me in that. So I should just toss an ender pearl in here. And I should get transported to a new place. I haven't really spent a lot of time in the end. So um yeah. But I'm mainly here. Oh hello. For this end stone. What's it even called? End stone. Right. Has this been looted? <laughs> I expect it to be looted. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it has. But I think I'm just gonna glide down over here, and I'm just gonna start mining this mountain. All right, a bunch of end stone, and as well as a few chorus, chorus flowers, thingamabobs have been collected, and I can now start my idea. I think it's gonna look okay. I I don't know how this is going to be making, but here's my idea. Basically, kind of like the end is coming up and out into the water, spreading kind of like oil would, I guess. It, actually, oil is a, a terrible, terrible, terrible example. I just wanted to go up in a in like a tube and then spread out with just fruits growing on it, and then maybe keeping that style of concrete like a wall around it kind of containing it i i i don't know how this is going to be but we're gonna try it okay and that right there is why i want to yeah get a better entrance point <laughs> so the portal is here um right so i am thinking of literally just doing this all the way well, not there I need a bunch of this, so I don't want to waste it too much. So if I just go... I did it again. So if I just go like this all the way around. Like so. And then... I guess remove this as well. Do it like this. And then basically keep building it up. 
until we get to the roof and the top of the ocean. Now, I don't know what's going to happen if the water hits that. And I don't know if I want to know. So I think I might cover it up just to be safe, because if this were to break, I, I would be I would I would be I would be sad. OK, because uh, having my own po having my own portal is extremely cool and I want to keep it that way. <laughs> OK, this has been covered up. Um, yeah, I think I've got to do this for now. I'm also going to do this. <laughs> I do not trust this at all and it just became extremely dark but it is going to stay dark for a while because oh, no. oh dear I need to I I hope I can get my hands on some sponges because I need to drain this I don't need sponges in order to drain this tube but it would make it easier but I may just have to resort to using um, sand and gravel to drain this Okay, but I think that right there is all the stone bricks removed. And I think now I just need to place a bunch of end stone that then keep going up to the surface just like so. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing that. That Probably a very short time lapse if I even include it as one. I scrapped the time lapse because, uh, yeah, it's underwater and I don't know how that's going to look. So, I scrapped it, but I have now made the tube, which I now need to drain. And I don't have any sponges. So, I can either go and find some sponges, which I know where there are some. That's gross squid ink sack, which I'm gonna get. Which I think I'm going to do. Because I have not done anything with sponges at all in season one so i'm going to do that and my frame rate just went down because now i'm entering the base area fun stuff now if you look that's an ocean monument right here i have no oh dear oh no <laughs> um i don't even know where the like the sponge place is on one of these if there even is one this might take a little bit more preparation than I had expected. And I have barely done any brewing because this is all of the potion stuff that I have. Oh boy. And this is all the nether wart I have. <laughs> uh, I have clearly not done a whole lot of brewing, have I? It is time to walk in the, the special AFK fish thingy thing that can give you treasure. Which I only used very little. Um, but I'm hoping that potentially there is... What are we looking for again? Puffer fish. Boom. Okay, aqua potion, puffer fish. And then hit that with some redstone. Water breathing, redstone. All right. Three eight minutes of water breathing potions have been collected. I'm gonna try and be as quick as I can because this place is... Does really not look that hospitable. Yep, okay, there it is. Right. No. Go away. Go away. Okay, they actually do some damage. Right. I'm in. I haven't gotten the, the effect yet. I just really want to find... Oh, hi. Oh, no. I should, uh, why am I using the trident? I should probably use my actual sword. I just want to find... Oh, that's the bottom. Where's the sponges at? And there's the minor effect. Minor fatigue. Uh, minor. Uh, how long does it last for? Five minutes. Uh, okay. This is not going according to plan. I have plenty of water breathing, so I think I should be alright. Okay, this is a big room. This is a big room that has a lot of gold, which I actually do want because I do not have. A lot of gold on me. Yeah, this is one of the big chambers. Where's he at? There he is. The big guardian, which is gonna hit me pretty hard, I think. Oh, two hearts. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I'm gonna... Mm. That hurt. Got it. No match. No match at all. Oh, wet sponge. You know what? That one wet sponge could do the trick, but... No, not good enough. 
trident is actually pretty good in this area because it it's the only thing you can use to shoot them and stay back, not get the thorns effect. And it actually does okay good damage. Oh, that's another one. Okay. See, I can just do this, keep switching back and forth without too much effort and take out the minion there. Sponge room. And take it out like that. Sweet. I also don't think that all monuments are guaranteed to have sponge, which is going to be a problem if this one doesn't have any. It's not going according to plan. Oh, found him. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep killing you this way. Because that seems fast. There. Nope. I'm just gonna There we go. Got him. Okay, perfect. Alright, the mine of fatigue is now gone, which means I can now start digging around. So question is where Oh. Well that's the entrance. There it is. The big room. Gold. Finally I have some sort of gold. <laughs> okay. That's the gold. But where on earth would the sponges be? Maybe this is one? No? I think these are sponge rooms normally. Um, because I'm looking at a picture from the wiki now. And according to it, this kind of design is basically... Same as this one. Looks to be sponge room, but there's no sponges in them. Though I have three, so I think I have enough actually. Yeah. Um, so let's just let's get out of here, shall we? How do how how where's the there we go. Okay, please get me Oh, I'm in the middle of the ocean. I can't I can't fly. Ow! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, with three sponges, this is still going to take ages. And I just thought that I really hope this sponge doesn't affect the outside and only on the inside. Um, this is a little bit of a predicament that didn't... Okay, now please tell me it didn't affect the water out here. It didn't. Okay. Very good. Very good. Sideways robot. Eh? And there we go, the hole has been completely drained of water, which means I can now remove the protective barrier. Um Yeah, from from the from this tube. But I don't think I'm quite ready because I just thought of another way I could make this probably look even cooler with the base. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna say thanks for watching. Uh that's it for this episode. <laughs> and we will continue this project in the next one but it serves its purpose now i can fly around and i can just hopefully hopefully make it down into the tube and go through i'll take some damage but it works all right which is the important part this could be a terrible idea and a plan but you know what we're still gonna do it so we're going to be continuing that in the next episode and i think i want to very soon start adding the transport tubes to these farms that then connects them to the storage sorting system over there so i think we'll get that started in the next episode as well but yeah that's going to be it for this episode now before we end it uh ramble craft season one is soon coming to a close um but it will be followed up straight after with the season two so stay tuned for that but i still have a couple of episodes left that I want to do, so that is going to be exciting. But anyways, that's going to be it. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye.